Like a lot of you, I got my Fireball and immediately wondered how do I get my own wavetables on here? The ones that it comes with are cool, but I wanted my own. So I downloaded a bunch of wavetables from the internet and I thought to myself, you know what, I'm just going to try dropping them in and see what happens. So here's a quick and dirty video on what I did to get my own wavetables on my 1010 Fireball. The wavetables I'm using are ones that are available for free out there online. There are a lot of them were made for Serum and other wavetable synths, and I basically just copied each folder straight into the root of the Fireball's SD. If you're following along, now's the time to get your Fireball out. Important note, I'm running firmware 1.1.2. Okay, so once you've got your Fireball uh, booted up, Go ahead and tap on one of the wavetables and uh, go down to the wavetable selection by tapping on it again. When you see, uh, by default, is the factory, but when you uh, hit the little up arrow, you'll see the folders for all the wavetables you just added to the SD card. So go ahead and select something that you want to try loading. And you should see after a few seconds and a little beeping sound that it lets you know it's loading with, uh, your new wavetable pop up. All right, so one other interesting thing is when you first load a new wavetable in here, you obviously notice that it's moving a little bit, which, you know, sounds really interesting for a lot of them, but I think a lot of people will probably want to use more just like default pitches. Let me turn this down a little bit. So uh, don't forget to adjust your LFO settings right here in the right menu on each individual wavetable layer. And if you turn that down and or find your zero point on it, you'll find that you've got a much more uh, static waveform and you can make your adjustments here in the position control to uh, find your different positions within the wavetable. Okay, one last thing. Here's a couple of really cool classic wavetables. Um, I think a lot of you probably, if you've messed with single cycle waveforms before, um, have probably heard of the Adventure Kid uh, single cycle waveform pack. And uh, I've got one loaded right now, but what's interesting about it is, um, <clears throat> let me back out of that. When you when you actually move the wavetable position, it's actually quite a lot more extreme rather than seeing a more smooth transition because it's made up of so many single cycle pieces, you're gonna see it make a little bit more of an extreme movement like that. So, um, and when you, you know, play this, you know, uh, you'll hear there's quite a difference between, say, that and, let's see one that looks pretty, like that one right there is probably pretty different. And so you can hear it, and that's all within one wavetable, so that's pretty, pretty cool uh, what it gives you as far as options uh, by having some of those, um, you know, compiled single cycle uh, chunks. So that's another cool thing. So as you can see, it's not too hard to load uh, wavetables you might find online into your uh, 1010 uh, Nanobox Fireball. Uh, I will note that a few of the wavetables I tried to load, more of the single cycle ones, uh, some of them were a little finicky. So as you do this yourself, it may take a little bit of trial and error experimentation. But uh, give it a shot and hopefully you'll come up with something really cool.